Hey everyone! So today's video is going to be my everyday hair routine and I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps of what I do every day. I'm not going to show you like what I do, but I'm going to like show you the products and just tell you what I do step by step. So the first thing that I do is wash my hair and I wash my hair every morning. Um, I know it's not good to wash your hair every day, however, for me, I really have a problem doing this and... I just have really thin hair, first of all, and also, my hair gets kind of greasy and oily very easily if I'm not careful, and especially if I use too much conditioner, that can be a really bad problem. But, um, I just like to feel clean. I'm trying to not wash as much, and every time I don't wash my hair, like for the second day, I just always feel gross. And I'm not saying it's, like, gross to not wash your hair every day, but just for me, like, I don't know, I just think my hair is too thin that it can't handle not being washed every day, if that makes sense. So, just do whatever's best for your hair type. I mean, no one can tell you you can't wash your hair every day, so whatever. But it is healthy to um, not wash your hair every day. So, I wash my hair, and I use three different kinds of shampoos. Like, I kind of like to interchange them throughout the week, because I get bored of the same one. And it's better to use, like, different types of shampoos on your hair. Like, you don't want to use, like, a volumizing shampoo every day. It's bad for your hair. You kind of want to get some moisturizing shampoo in there as well. So, um, my favorite shampoo, though, is from Matrix Biolage. And it's the hydrating shampoo. It looks like this here. It looks like this right here. And it smells really good. I really like the smell. I'm getting conditioner all over me. It smells really, really good. I'm just a big fan of Biolage. And here's the conditioner. I use the same conditioner. And the cap is missing, so um, it's kind of leaking all everywhere on my jeans. But this stuff is probably my favorite. It just really makes my hair feel soft and definitely moisturized. But then for days that I don't want to go for moisture necessarily and I want to kind of make it fuller and bigger, oh my gosh dripping. But for days that I want more volume, let's say, I use the Matrix Biolage Bodifying Shampoo. And this volumizes fine and limp hair, which is my hair type. I have very, very fine hair. It's like insane. I have no hair. So once again, this smells the same. I love the smell. And um, here's the conditioner that goes along with that. So I use this probably once a week, I'd say. I use the moisturizing shampoo the most, though. And then I have another volumizing shampoo that I like to kind of switch it up with. And this is from Victoria's Secret. It's the So Sexy line. And this is volumizing for fine hair as well. And this smells really good. That's one thing, like one reason why I bought it is the smell is just amazing. So, I mean, that's basically why I use this one. But it is a volumizer, so that's good for that. And then the matching conditioner. And I like to leave my conditioner on for about five minutes after I wash my hair. Just a little fact. Um, and that makes it really soft. So, Okay, and then I get out of the shower and I put it up in a towel for... And I leave it there for about five to ten minutes while I kind of do my foundation or something. I like to get my foundation out of the way first. But, so I take it out of the towel and then um, I don't brush it yet. I just kind of shake it out and like turn it upside down. And I put in blow dry protectant, heat protectant. And I use Redken Satin Wear Blow Dry Lotion, which looks like this. And this is a really good product. I'm sure other gurus have talked about this product. But it is a good product, and that's obviously why I use it. So I put this everywhere except for my roots. Like I don't really touch my roots, but definitely throughout my ends. And. I don't know. It makes it soft. I really, really do like this. And then, before I brush it out, and then I'll put in my Joyco K-Pack Reconstruct Split End Mender. And I put the, this just on the ends. Um, just kind of take like one pump, and then just kind of rub it in your ends. That's all you need that for. And then I finally brush it out. And I use this brush. I know you're supposed to use a wide tooth comb, but... For me, having such thin hair, I feel like I can't comb it out. Like, I don't have enough hair to use the comb for. It's weird. Like, I really don't have that much hair. 
So I just used this brush. I don't know where I got this, but it's just a normal brush. I don't know. With a cool little design. But so I brush that out and I kind of part it. Like I brush it like back and then I part it. Like I part it here every single day in the same spot. So it just kind of naturally goes there. And then from there on out, oh, and I lift a section of this hair. I'm not going to pick it up, but I take this area like in the crown and I lift it up. And then I spray, this is Redken Rootful, and it's like a root lifting spray basically. Um, and I just spray a couple pumps in my roots. And then when I blow dry it, oh, and another good root lifter before I go on is Big Sexy Hair Root Pump Plus. I really like this stuff as well. This is more of a foam though, whereas this is just like a spray. And I like the spray better, but this stuff works good too, so. It's just based on preference. I usually use the Redken one more, but whatever. And then my blow dryer is just a Conair blow dryer from like Walmart. It's not very expensive. It gets the job done. And so when I'm blow drying my hair, first I blow dry my bangs like so that they lay right, otherwise they get all frizzy and weird. And then I kind of start blow drying here, and I just kind of go like this and take it down, whatever. And you don't want to leave it in one spot because that'll like burn it, so you want to constantly be moving it. And then I'll take my brush and like, not I don't flip my head over, but I take all this hair from my crown and I brush it forward, like where I sprayed that root stuff, and then I spray it going this direction and that gives me a lot of lift at my roots so it's not just flat against my head um and then once it's all dry you know I go over here and dry that oh I am so sorry you guys I knocked the camera over um once it's all dry then I put this um what are these called velcro rollers I put one of them in my crown and I take it up real high and roll it down and just let it sit there while I straighten the rest of my hair. But before I straighten it, I feel like I'm all over the place in this video. Before I straighten it, you want a heat protectant before you obviously put the flat iron on it. That's very important. Especially like if you don't want to kill your hair, which I don't know who wants to kill their hair. And um, like I'm trying to grow mine out, so I really want to protect it. So I use Sebastian Trilliant Thermal Protection. I spray this in the section before I flat iron it. And this is my flat iron. It's a Paul Mitchell. It's like this old, it's an older version. Um, it works fine. I really want a GHD, but they're kind of expensive. So I probably won't be getting one of those anytime soon. So I straighten my hair and everything. And then sometimes I'll use like a teasing comb and I'll tease um, my crown area and just kind of brush it back. And that's honestly all I do. Um, if I want a hairspray, I use oops, I use Big Sexy Hairspray and Stay. And I usually don't like hairspray, though. I'm not a hairspray person. So that is what I do every day. I hope you guys kind of understood what I was talking about. I feel like I've been like going on and on and on and not making sense, but that's just me. So if you have any questions, let me know. I was in cosmetology last year, so I know a lot about hair. I dropped out because, I don't know, it just wasn't for me. It's not what I wanted to do with my life, so. And I wanted my senior year to just kind of focus on me and what I wanted to do. I don't know. But, so if you have any questions, I'll answer those for you. And also, if you guys have requests, make sure to do that, and I will get back to you on those. And I hope you guys have a good day, and thank you for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.